Hello everybody, it is me, Edge, back with another video, and it's not gaming! Wow. What? I know, uh, but as you can see by the title, today we are going to be building a $3,600 PC. Now, keep in mind, quick disclaimer, I did not buy these parts, alright? This is actually my friend's computer, Anthony. Um, so, also keep in mind, I didn't pick the combinations, you know, this was all him. So if you got any complaints, go ahead and let them know down in the comments. But now, without further ado, let's go ahead and build this computer! Alright guys, let's go ahead and start the video by going over all of our parts. Uh, first up, we have our case. We have a Lee & Lee 011 Dynamic Evo. I've been seeing a lot more of these cases lately, and rightfully so, because they are amazing and they look wonderful, I have to say. Um, we got these two glass panels right here, and there's tons of space for airflow, tons of space for cable management, and whatever you need from this, uh, this case right here. Next up, we have our motherboard. We have an ROG Strix Z690A gaming Wi-Fi D4, all that fun stuff. Um, this is going to be going with our white color scheme that we're looking for. Um, and I'm pretty sure this part right here actually lights up. It's, if I must say so, it's it's a sexy motherboard, right? What did he say? Oh. It's a very, very nice looking motherboard. And uh, y'all get to see that more when we open up that box. Um, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, CPU cooler. We have an all-in-one Kraken Z73 RGB. I actually have the same cooler, except mine is not RGB, and his is also uh, that white color scheme. So, very nice. I don't know why they don't show it in the picture, but it is white. Um, next, let's take a look at our GPU, our probably the most expensive item, I think. Um, we have a MSI Supreme, Supreme, I'm gonna say Supreme X, um, RTX 3090 Ti, and uh, this thing, he showed it to me when he dropped off all the parts, and I gotta say, this thing is massive, so it's hard to believe that um, those, those 40 series are even bigger than this, because I just don't see how they get much bigger than that. Next, let's take a look at our CPU, we have a Intel i9 13900KF, uh, and then we got that socket, which is LGA 1700. You know, my CPU is a, it's that square shape, but all these new CPUs are just rectangular and they're just getting bigger over time, you know, just like these guys right here. Let's take a look at our RAM. We have some Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. Uh, he got two sticks of 16 uh, or two sticks of eight, adding up to that 16 gigabytes. Um, and the speed right there is uh, 3600 megahertz. Next, let's take a look at our storage. We have a two terabyte Samsung M.2 SSD 980 Pro. Um, I actually have the same one in my computer uh, that's right here. Um, definitely a very good uh, storage device that he decided to go with. Now let's take a look at our power supply. We have, uh, he was gonna go with an uh, ROG uh, power supply as well, and that, that one was very, very nice, but I guess they didn't have any and they just substituted this for him. Um, I honestly would have waited, but uh, we have a MSI MPG A1000G or 1000 watt power supply and then it's that 80 plus gold rating right there so definitely going to be able to handle all the parts that we have for this computer. So the last parts we can look at are these fans. I gotta say these things are amazing. If y'all don't know anything about these fans uh, they're also made by Lee & Lee but these are amazing if you're trying to go for that no cables look. So basically for these, all you need is one fan connected, I'm pretty sure, and then the rest just magnetize together and they're all powered. So very, very sick fans, um, but they are definitely a hefty amount of money, geez. Um, but yeah, that's all the stuff here, so I guess we're going to go ahead and get into the build now. Uh, we're going to start by opening up the motherboard and then putting all the small items in there, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, it is time to open up the motherboard. Uh, sorry if the angle is not the best. I tried a, a lot of angles, and this was the best one. So you get what you get, and hopefully you don't throw a fit. But yeah, here we are. You got to keep that box in the best condition, you know, because you're going to have to sell it again sometime. Ooh, wee! <laughs> that thing's a beauty, holy. All right, um, hopefully I'm not blocking the view too much. We got the antenna. Oh, my God, this thing is massive. Yeah, let me uh, let me just take a look at this. Y'all, I mean, y'all can't really see it too well, but oh my god, look at that! That's like a whole screen in there. Holy shoot! And you got that thing right there. Oh my gosh, this thing's a beauty. I gotta say, let's let's look at what else comes in the box. Set that aside. So we got a uh, keychain little thing. Got some cool little stickers. I don't think I got stickers with mine. But those are actually pretty cool stickers right there. Let's go ahead and uh, open up that motherboard now. Open, open. Ooh, the best part. Y'all about to look at it. Oh, there we go. 
And then I usually set this back down. Oh my goodness. Holy. Holy. That thing is beautiful. All right. Um, let's start with the CPU, I guess. Go and open her up. Um, factory seal. Come on. There we are. Go ahead and cut her open. This is so sick. I love building these. Honestly, I would I wouldn't mind having a job like that, just building computers. But that's the dream, you know. You just well, I don't know if you would be able to build anything you want, you know. Holy crap! That thing, that thing blade, that thing blade. Go ahead and open her up. Bang, bang, bang. I usually I don't do uh, the thing where it just snaps them out because I don't like that. I just plop them in there and it'll, it'll fix them. So you know, like, because usually you can leave that little shield in there. You put the CPU in there and then you close it and then this thing will pop out. But I don't like doing that. Sorry if that angers anyone, <laughs> but uh, I just it ain't for me. Dang. I'm really about to pull a Linus Tech Tips and just drop it. <laughs> How do we open this? Wait, what? Ooh, it opens the opposite way. All right, so now you need to look for the triangle. They're gonna have a triangle. So the triangle right there, it's gonna be in the bottom left corner because um, there's dots in these corners and then there's a triangle right there. So now we gotta find where the triangle is here. I'm, I'm very sure that it goes this way though. Hopefully. Alright. Ooh. I hate that. I hate that so much. But yeah, that is in there now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do our M.2 now. Time for that storage. Got that. Bang, bang, bang. I think we're going to put it in the top section right there. So either we have to put those pads in or there's already going to be a pad that has a seal on it that we just have to remove. Bam. Yeah, that's, that's the seal right there. And then there's another seal right there. Don't forget to take that off if you want to take that off or else it'll be dire consequences. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Thing. I hope I'm doing this right. It's been a minute. <laughs> Go in there. Alrighty. Is there like a thing we're supposed to do here? Oh! That's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead, take off this. This is also a thermal pad right here. And just make sure we put it on the right way. Should be good. Now you don't want to over tighten one screw. You want to start tightening the other one and then evenly tighten them at the same time. A little bit more. And you don't want to over tighten them even when you've finally done it. See, so as soon as you start feeling tension, that's when I stop. And there it is. All right. So that is there now. Go ahead and take off this plastic right bang. Alrighty. Uh, let's go ahead and put that RAM in now. Oh my god, those things are humongous. Holy. Dude, these are hefty. Like, they have some weight to them, boys. And girls. You don't discriminate. Holy crap. That's like a solid... Actually, it feels like aluminum. I don't know if it's full aluminum. We're going to take off these... Uh, Ooh, too sexy, too sexy. Holy, these are, okay, that is solid aluminum. It is actually solid aluminum, boys. Oh, we were doing it the wrong way. Okay, I might might have to cut that out. <laughs> I promise uh, it's still fine. I was putting it in the wrong way, though. <laughs> oh, let's, let's not talk about that. I'm gonna keep that in the video, but just, just know I could have cut that out. There it is. <laughs> it's good I didn't put too much force trying to do it the first time. My boy Anthony's probably watching this going, I can't believe I let this mother trucker 
Frank building. I promise, mistakes are rare. They don't happen to me that often. I think it is time to finally open up uh, the case now and then get everything situated. All right, I'll get back to y'all when I've uh, opened up that or when I start opening up that. All right, y'all probably don't have the best view, but uh, I also have no more room in my room. Like <laughs> literally every, every square inch of my room is covered now. So this is the best it's gonna, the best it's gonna be boys. There we are. Lee and Lee. That is hefty, what is that? I think those are fans and other stuff. Oh, that thing is massive, what the freak? Can y'all see that? Oh my god. Come on. Jesus. Come on, baby. You can do it. Ugh. This is harder than I thought. Oh, there she goes. She's ready. She's getting there. <laughs> Come on. And she gone. Ugh. There we are. Come on now. Now y'all can see. Bang! Wow, that's a case. Look how much. This thing looks like a 3D printer. Ah! It's good we got shocked now. You don't want that thing. You don't want that thing shocking you when you got all the stuff on there. God dang! All right, now I'm gonna set a blanket down on this, put the PC on its back, and then put the motherboard in there. You get me? All right, I'll, I'll get you all when I do that. All right, boys, just want to show y'all where we're at at the moment. So we have everything that we need on the motherboard at the moment. And now we're going to go ahead and put the motherboard in the case. Um, and holy, can y'all just look at how freaking clean white that is? That's like the snow white or the ice white. It's, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's simply beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that in there now. And uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it already has that IO shield on there. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that started. All right, guys, I was going to put the motherboard in the case, but then I just remembered we actually have to put the back plate of the cooler on the motherboard before we do that because it's just going to be covered um, after we slide that on in. So we have to get some of the pieces out of this first, and uh, then we will be able to put that in. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and record me opening this thing. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that is what we are doing. Oh, my goodness. So much stuff. So, all right, but we're just looking for this part right here. Sounded a little bit Canadian when I said that. This part. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot. This is the AMD socket or whatever, and the Intel one is already on the cooler. Right there. It's already there. Might be. I was doing everything right. I'm just stripping. Now we're just screwing them in. Alrighty. Should be good. We can put our motherboard in the case. I'll see y'all when I get everything arranged. All right, we have the case back on the table. And now it is time to once again, put our motherboard in the case. Make sure we're lining up everything. Oh, wait, but first I should probably remove that IO shield little, I'll do it on camera for y'all. So beautiful. All right, hurry it up. All right. Jeez. This IO shield is so nice, too. All right. Let's put it back in there. Put her back in there. You don't want to scratch anything either. Bang. It's in there. All righty. Y'all ready? 
Are you ready, kids? Yeah. All right, I suppose it is time to actually uh, put in the, the cooler now. It is time. So uh, I'm gonna get that all set up and we're gonna do that. All right, guys, it is now time to mount the CPU cooler. We're gonna be putting the radiator on the top of the case because that is what Anthony wanted to do. Also, in my opinion, it does look the best. So we're gonna be doing that now. Point y'all down to that now because we have to put the fans on now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got our fans right here, the RGB, looking very sexy. Alrighty. And we're also going to have um, the wires on the outside right there. Actually, wait. See, you got you to gotta think of everything reverse. So it'd be like that. So the wires actually need to come this way. Wait, what the heck? These things have like little plug-ins right there. Oh, uh, I think this RGB means more freaking cable management. Dang. It is what it is. Probably gonna time lapse this. But basically, I'm screwing in this to the radiator now. Very fun. So now we're going to lift this. This way is going to be facing upwards. It's going to flip like that, and then we're going to screw into the top. Yeah. Very nice. More screws. Yay. Everyone clap. You're happy. And bang. Now, let me adjust you up to there. Now, we will lift this. Oops. And it will go nicely, nicely right there. Just like that. That thing is sexy. I'm jealous. I am jealous, boys. And it's good we don't have to apply any thermal paste or anything. It's already on there. All right, well, I'll get back to y'all when we uh, do that. All right, guys, it is now time to put on the CPU cooler actually onto the CPU. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, uh, and luckily we already got that pre-applied uh, thermal paste. I don't think my friend Anthony knew that it came with thermal paste, but at least he'll be able to have some extra just in case he ever does take this off, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this on there now. Oh, and by the way, I am positive now that uh, that CPU is on the right way because uh, it does have a triangle um, on the CPU right there and right there. So I know I did it right. All right, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, put it on there now. And then I have these as well to screw them on, so we'll just lower that down onto there now. And that should be on there. All right, and then we just gotta screw it down. But yeah, this is this orientation I found was the best looking one, so that's why I'm doing it. Tight now. That's on there. So 
So this is the orientation. And if you want to zoom out, that's what it's going to look like. Um, and we'll take off that when we need to, but pretty nice. And he'll still have space to put in another ram stick in both spots if he ever decides to do that. So now, I think we're going to put in the fans. Fans is probably the best way to go. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'll be right back. Let's slide these beauties together. Bang. All right, and then we're gonna put these right like that. It looks very cool. All righty, those are in there. Now let's go ahead and put them on in. Put them on in. There it is. All right. And then put the screw in. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, do these fans now. And we'll make those exhaust fans. Everything's exhaust. <laughs> Everything's exhaust. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to when I've moved the computer on. All right, guys, so basically what you're looking at right now is uh, I put these together off camera because, I mean, y'all don't really need to see the process again. It's pretty simple. They just snap together. But now, basically, I'm gonna put these fans right over here and I have them something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw them in now. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, that looks beautiful. This thing is, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I have coomed. Stop it. Get some help. Anyways. I'm going to clean up and then uh, I'll get back to y'all when uh, I figure out what we're doing next. Alright guys, now it is time for the power supply that we have right here. Looking very nice. This thing is going to be pretty hefty after we put this thing in. I mean, it's already getting very heavy, but it's going to reach a new level once we put this thing in. Let's go ahead and open that up. Jeez, there it is. I don't know if y'all can see it, uh, but it's right there. I'm gonna take that out though, real quick. And this is the bag of cables, the famous bag of cables. Bang, there it is. And we're gonna have the fan facing outwards like that. Something al along the lines of this. Ooh, perfect fit. This is actually so good for cable management. Look, I'm about to show y'all something. I just found this out. If we uh, unscrew this, I'm pretty sure. That thing just popped out. Look at that. Here, I'll get back to y'all when I figure out what I want to start with. Oh. All right, guys, I did a little bit more uh, cable management while the camera had died. Um, but basically, we got all the fans hooked up, or at least close to being hooked up. These cables right here go to this. And then this plugs into the to the motherboard. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, spin this around and show y'all what the computer's looking like. I'm gonna set y'all right there. Looking pretty clean, pretty clean. It would look more clean if the, my man had gotten those white cables, but you gotta work with what you got, you know. But that thing is still a beauty. Come on now. I wish I could have hidden this cable better, but um, like maybe if I had flipped it, it could have been on this side. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the graphics card now, and then once we do that, I can plug in uh, these PCIe uh, cables, and then uh, it will be all cable managed and ready to go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the moment y'all have all been waiting for, the graphics card. Jeez. Let me get up out of my chair for this. I'd be lying if I said I didn't already open it, but I already opened it. <laughs> Set this to the side. 
lift this off. Jeez. Oh yeah, I forgot. He, you get a mouse pad with it. Like I wanna. Can y'all see that? You get a mouse pad with it. It's pretty funny. All right, what else we get? What the hell is this? Is this a, a bike brake or a bike stand? What is this? It looks like a GPU. Uh, oh yeah, this thing raises. I'm guessing this is a support thing. If it's too heavy, we might have to use that. All right. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, this is the cable I wasn't really wanting to use, but so apparently these newer graphics cards they only have this part on them. They don't got the three uh, the three eight pins anymore. They have the splitter, so you have to plug that into the card and then plug your PCIe uh, cables into this. Oh my god. This thing is humongous. Let me set this aside. I cannot... Look how fat that thing is. I'm, I want to compare it to something, but I don't know if I can. Let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, oh my, yo, Jesus, Jesus, oh my god, oh my god, it's like a, it's like a supercar, you just spin a million on, and now you get to look at it, look at that beautiful brushed steel, aluminum, whatever that is. Oh my god. This thing's a beauty. Look how fat that thing is. Don't you just want to make love to it? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reorganize stuff and then we'll get to doing that cable management. Alright, we have the splitter out now and we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in all these PCIe connectors. Yay, very fun! But yeah, let's do that now. Look at that thing, that's like a crystal right there. It's like glass or something, y'all see that? Crazy, all right. Now, let's lower this bad boy on in. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. She's in. She's in, boys. Oh, buddy. She's in. I thought they uh, didn't cut something, but they did. All right. It's not. It's not hitting any of the fans. That's good. All right. I we're good to go now. I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, cleaning up, and then we'll uh, get to the powering on of the computer. All right, boys. I'll see you later. All right, guys. We're just putting on all of the covers now. Got to be careful not to hit my camera. We're going to go ahead and put everything back together now. There it is. Oh shoot, I forgot to take off that freaking thing. <laughs> forgot to take off that stupid sticker. I'll get back, chill. <laughs> all right, guys, it is now the moment of truth, the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at this absolute monster. Now, everything is ready to go. I just need to press that button right there. I'm cro cross your fingers, everybody, that it turns on first try. 
shoot. Oh, we didn't we didn't press that yet. Now it is time. Please turn on for try. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, those ones aren't spinning up though. So close. Why, why is it doing that? Y'all see that? <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry about that. That rotates. Holy crap. This thing's a beauty. Is all the fans, all the fans spinning? They're spinning up. They're spinning up. All right. What does orange mean here? I'm going to look this up real quick and I'll be right back. And maybe I'll fix it while I'm gone. Be right back. All right, guys, after some time, I was finally able to get rid of that RAM light. All I had to do is actually just update the BIOS. You know, after trying replacing the RAM a bunch of times, trying different things, all I had to do was update the BIOS. And uh, while I was doing that, I also found that I left the uh, CPU cooler pump, or at least the, the CPU fan thing, unplugged. So it wasn't even plugged in. So maybe that's the reason that the lights were messed up. But hopefully everything's going to be fixed and working perfectly now. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, not as exciting, but uh, at least we got rid of that RAM light. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these fans. Everything's plugged in. Everything's good. Um, we might have just gotten unlucky with that one. I'll, I'll see. I'll try to keep fixing that one. But, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boot up uh, Windows 10. I got it on my boot drive right there. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to y'all. All right, guys, I am very happy to say that the fans were able to fix themselves after Windows loaded right up. That just fixed itself. And I, I'm so happy that everything came together and nothing's wrong anymore. Holy, that was so stressful for me for like such a while. Cause, you know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make my friend his, his, his computer, you know, and I wanted everything to go perfectly. And now luckily it all is resolved. And I couldn't be happier, and I can't wait for him to get this computer and all that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more. And I think tomorrow we're going to have some nice little, uh, some what's it called? We're going to have some nice cinematic shots of the computer, all right? That's what we're going to do, and I can't wait, all right? But uh, I'll get back to y'all maybe later tonight and see where we're at. All right, guys, I got the computer out in my dining room now. And uh, we have a very, very exciting part now. It is time to remove the plastic. Now before y'all say anything, I did ask my friend Anthony if it was okay to take this off for those shots, and he said it is, so let's go ahead and remove all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so clean. Next up, the big boy. The big boy. Holy. Oh my god. It is so beautiful. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at this thing. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Yo, those Lee and Lee fans are pretty cool. Dang. All right, I think it's time for some cinematic shots. Let's get it, boy. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it. I couldn't be more happy about how this computer came out. I mean, look at all these colors just popping out and then these glass panels making the whole dream just work. Um, it's absolutely stunning. So I really hope that my friend Anthony enjoys it. I um, mean, if he doesn't, I'll gladly take it. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> I'm joking. All jokes. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been Edge. Peace out. I can make it
Yeah.